Removing my keyboard from this. Remove keycaps. Remove switches. Remove stabilizers. Snip snip. Lube. Dielectric grease. Click. Snip snip. Band-aid. Stabilizers back. Disassemble switches. More lube. Springs back. Lube. Reassemble switches. Switches. Keycaps. $300 keyboard part two. So we checked out the basics of the keyboard in the first video, but now let's check out these because these features are what makes it $300. First up, the customize box. And there is a lot of stuff in here. First up is a normal escape key in case you don't like their branded one, which I didn't really, so there we go. Then a bunch of replacement switches. You can use these on the space bar, the escape key or something to make them sound different, including a cherry pink, which I have never even heard of before. They include a keycap and a switch puller because it says hot swappable. And these are magnetic feet rests. And this is what makes it height adjustable because you put these magnets on and suddenly it gets taller or shorter. And you get a lot of these. Next up, we'll look at the numpad because this is not just a normal numpad. Now, once again, this comes with the adjustable feet and two cable ports for whichever side you want to connect it with. And not only does it function as a number pad, it also functions as a macro pad. Now you can use this exactly like something like a stream deck where you can switch scenes, you can open up applications, you can use shortcuts, and this can magnetically attach to the left or the right side. Now I'm out of time, but the craziest part will be up soon. Shit almost broke. Alright. <clears throat> Splash. Now let you know how my eyes be. I'm rocking shit. <laughs> 